Well, the place in the Bronx is interesting. Uh, when we came back, we were stone poor. And uh, that uh, meant, among other things, that we got an apartment that was small, didn't have a kitchen, had a kitchenette. How many rooms? I think uh, two rooms, a sort of living room with the kitchenette and a bedroom. And the special feature that then I soon got to be aware of is uh, his artwork. Uh, for the kitchenette, he got the cheapest materials, just, you know, cheap wood you can buy anywhere. But not very expensive and, and not very strong. And on beach muslin, you know, and, and he painted a screen to shade the kitchenette from the rest of the room. And uh, with lovely, consistent pattern of paintings. He does the kind of thing that had nothing to do particularly with the kitchenette or the apartment. But at the time, he, he was sort of thinking of uh, English gardens or something. So there were a bunch of pictures having to do with that. However, I do remember he put a little menu because it was a kitchenette, you see. And on the menu, he had some, you know, would tell you what to expect, and the things were things like uh, verbrannt Fleisch, Zimmers and Holm, Verenicus Nit, and list things like that. Uh, and it's a shame that that didn't survive. We, it, Part of it was it wasn't made well enough, and uh, so we lost the, that screen. That was it. <laughs>